The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. When you're cruising at 32,000 feet and nature calls, using the airplane lavatory isn't always a first-class experience. Well, that may all be about to change. So prepare for takeoff, <laughs> because your next trip just might include a blast of water from an in-flight bidet. <laughs> now, up till now, I don't know if you cruise on private jets, Dr. Jorge, <laughs> but days really were only fine on private jets and maybe first class on Emirates or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. They have a pretty big bathroom. I looked at it. I never flew on it, but I, <laughs> I asked if I could yeah. check out the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a shower and all that. But anyways, considered a luxury, but is this something we want to see on our commercial flights? Yeah. Mm. No, I, I think this is a really American audience. I, I yeah. think it's because a great idea. You think so? Because you do? I, think that I do. Really, because I think that's interesting. This is a very cultural thing. Yeah. We know in Asia, so other parts of the Middle East, like you mentioned, people really like bidets. But Europe, I think the in French, Europe, the French love the bidets. Um, I think Americans <laughs> have a little bit of a hang up about it to begin with. And then you combine that with on a commercial airline, the small, germy, enclosed bathroom, and you just Think about that water spraying everywhere. I, I don't know. I well, think Dr. Yeah. B, I loved your quote that we you said before the show. The last place I want to go on an airplane is the bathroom. Correct. And, <laughs> and I mean, it's already messy enough, and things of the sink is sprayed, and the bathroom is the with toilet sprayed with the. Yes, I mean, with the bidet. You, you, guys, you guys make it sound like if you're going to sit on the fountains of Versailles. <laughs> <laughs> so it shouldn't feel like a water hose, right? Yeah. Right, it it's just feel a like little water. bidet. Well, I, I know a lot of people who have used one. I haven't used a bidet, but I've never heard anyone say, oh, I did not enjoy that experience. So people like it, and I think you're right, Dr. Batra, it is a cultural thing. Like, when we go someplace, we'll say, why are you using a bidet? But when they come here, they're like, why are you not using a bidet? They, because you can really get a... A different yeah. level of yeah, clean they when you use a bidet. Because well, really, I, I mean, I know you you work down in that neck of the woods. That's my and, neighborhood. I mean, it's it's <laughs> it, it's That's it's great to get it clean. It's soothing. It's therapeutic. What's up, neighbor? All right, but, girl. Yeah, you guys are our <laughs> physician neighbors, as it were, medical neighbors. I mean, neighbors. it may so turn out to be such a good thing that you're going to have a line backed up down the aisle of people that want to clean their private parts. Yeah, I mean, in, in most of the world, they think we're savage because they say when we wipe, which is not really clean, we're just really moving stuff around yeah. as opposed to actually cleaning it. And they have those bidets now that are just part of the toilet seat, mm -hmm. right, which is not like a whole messy slip and slide type of thing. Yeah, so, but, well. but just doing the math in general, so you think about over 100 people sharing two bathrooms on a commercial airline. So in the typical flight, hundreds of people have gone through and used that bathroom. So we've talked on this show so many times about how germy those bathrooms are. And the EPA, the Environmental yeah. Protection Agency, said that one in eight of the tanks on these airlines is actually not even safe. It's, mm. it's contaminated and hazardous, which adds a whole additional layer to this, this idea. So do you think, if it's done correctly, assuming that we can squirt some clean water right. in our nether regions, do you think it would be a great idea for Americans to adopt this culture of using the bidet I, instead I, of I, moving stuff yes, around? I think bidets are much more hygienic and better for you than toilet paper. As a Cuban, I know my parents always talked about bidets and when we were looking at places, they're like, what, no bidet? You know, so, so I, it's just something that we do have to well, get used to. Well, you grew up with bidets, so you have a different... Well, yeah. I, I guess for me, I'm picturing myself crammed into an airline bathroom with one of my kids, and then the bidet is going off, too. It's just, yeah. it's just you not already, a You already have enough going yeah, on. It's yeah, it's a strong no for Dr. Batra. Everybody's <laughs> like, but such and such, and Dr. Batra says no. And, and like, he's a strong yes. Like, he's like, no, he, yes. And here's the good thing, you probably don't have to use the bidet you know you can still do the old-fashioned you know swipe and run you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah